Here's the new Google Pixel tablet. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing is go ahead and turn it on. On the left side here, you have a power button. Press and hold that till that turns on. And then once you turn it on, wait a little bit and you should be on this screen here. Once you're here, you can go ahead and select your language. Just tap right there and choose your language. I'm good with English in the United States. I'm gonna tap on Get Started right there. Going to connect to my home Wi-Fi network now, but you can always skip that and do that later. But I'm going to do it now so I can get that latest update. So my Wi-Fi is here. Let me enter my password. If you put in your Wi-Fi password, you can tap on connect. Just said connected. Getting your tablet ready. Now it says copy apps and data. You can transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. Okay. So if you want to transfer from a different like Android device or iPhone, you just tap on next here. Okay. And it says you need an old I Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. Okay. But for myself, for this one here, I want a clean slate. So I'm going to click on back here. And for myself, I'm going to click on don't copy. Now it's asking you to sign into your Google account or you can create one or you can go ahead and skip it, okay? I'm gonna skip it and I'll sign into my uh, Google Gmail account later for myself. So I'll just skip that. Google services, use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional guys, okay? So it's up to you. For myself, I'm okay with having all of these toggled on and I'm gonna tap except for myself. Limited warranty and safety data. Go ahead and redo that and tap on next. Additional legal terms. Go ahead and redo that and to proceed, you must accept. Okay, so for myself, I'm gonna tap on I accept. It's asking you to set up a PIN password. You can skip this and do it later or never do it, but I would advise us go ahead and do it now. So let me go ahead and choose a four digit PIN here. Okay, I just type it in. Let me tap on next. I got to reconfirm one more time. All right, and now I'll tap on confirm. Set up fingerprint unlock. This is basically a fingerprint password. And you can go ahead and read through this and you have to go all the way down and then this will pop up. You can go no thanks or I agree. Okay, so but for myself, I'm going to tap on I agree. So now we're going to set up a fingerprint password, okay? Now you can always do this later as well. You can tap on do later, do it later over here. But the fingerprint scanner is actually the power button, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, so I'm going to use my finger here and just lay your finger on the power button. So now lift, up, down, power button. Just keep on going. So that blue circle goes all the way around, all right? So just keep on going, up, down, up, down. Got to do the tip of the finger now, the edges of the finger. All right, there we go, fingerprint is added. Now from here, you can go ahead and add a, another fingerprint as well, or you can always do it later, okay? I'm fine with just a one fingerprint for now. Let me go ahead and tap on next. Review additional apps. These are all optional, whichever ones you want or don't want. I'm fine with going and just selecting all of them. And for myself, I'll tap on OK right there. And this is just a, a tutorial here. Swipe to navigate. Learn gestures to go home. Go back and switch apps. You can skip or try it. We'll go ahead and just try this. So we'll tap on try it. To go home, you want to swipe from the bottom up. Bottom edge of the screen and go up. Swipe to go back. To switch apps, you go from the bottom, you swipe up halfway, like that. We can tap on done. All set. Swipe up to go home. And voila, we are in business, guys. Any questions or issues, comment below. Good luck, guys.